the Miami Dolphins wrapped up training camp on Thursday and will make final cuts on September 1st but Matt Skura may not make this roster. Skura, the Dolphins veteran free agent signing this past offseason was demoted to the third team this week when he struggled with his snaps. This was a problem in 2020 while with Baltimore. Skura said he worked hard during the offseason leading up to free agency to fix the problem but that may not be the case. Michael Dieter is the starting center now and with Skura on the third team, will he make this roster ahead of Cameron Tom? Tom has four years of NFL experience to Skura's five but Skura has more starting work. It doesn't seem as though that will matter all that much. Miami took a cheap road with the position this offseason declining to sign Ted Karras, last year's starter, while they waited on David Andrews to accept an offer. Andrew re-signed with New England and Karras followed as well. Miami turned to Skura. The Dolphins' offensive line didn't look bad last week against Atlanta but they are far from being a cohesive unit and remain one of the biggest areas of need on the roster, despite the fact that they have spent several drafts picks on linemen the last few drafts, including a first and two second round picks. At least the good news is that Dieter is looking to have developed into a starter and if he can play well for the Dolphins once the season starts, no one will be too worried about Skura. It is, however, disappointing that Miami hasn't got more out of him. Working in his favor is that the veteran is only counting $1.7 million in cap space if he makes the roster. If the Dolphins release him, they are saving $1.30. Those are low numbers for a center but if he can't consistently be what the Dolphins need, there is no need to keep him around. Because of that, with roster cuts looming next week, Skura may be looking at Sunday's game as a make-or-break roster situation. Miami Dolphins trade for center Greg Mance is exactly what they needed. The Miami Dolphins have not been happy with center Matt Skura and chances are, Skura's days in Miami are over after the team traded for Greg Mance. Mance will be coming to the Dolphins in a trade with the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens and Dolphins will swap late-round draft picks for the center. We have updated our 53-man roster predictions accordingly. Mance has played his entire career with the Houston Texans but joined the Ravens this offseason. He has 28 starts in his career. His six NFL seasons is longer than any other Dolphins offensive lineman. He has also played right tackle in one season with the Texans. Miami signed Skura this past offseason but struggled with consistency and has already shown some snap issues. While the Dolphins haven't made this trade official yet, it would be surprising if Skura wasn't released shortly after the trade becomes official. Skura will likely play in the Dolphins' season finale as Mance may not be with the team by then. The Ravens play today in their preseason finale if the trade is done by game time and Mance doesn't play, he may still be able to play on Sunday but that would be a big surprise given he has not had any work at all with Miami. I would expect Mance to join Miami on Sunday with Skura being released on Monday. Mance started all 16 games in 2016. While Michael Dieter is going to likely be the opening week starter, Mance is going to push him for his job and will have two weeks before the Dolphins' first game to show he can win it. Either way, he provides the Dolphins with a much better depth option behind Dieter than what we have seen from Skura.